Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you how to check your working directory and how to load or import data in your Stata. Okay, so here I open my Stata and as you can see I haven't done anything, it's all empty on the five places, no output, no comments, no history, no variable, right? So now what I'm going to do is I would like to check my working directory. Why is working directory important? It's because after we set the working directory, all the outputs we will generate will be saved in our working directory. Okay. So I mean all the outputs we will generate through our log file or uh, using some other commands, okay, like sdoc to extract all the outputs in a what file so all these things will be saved in our working directory right so that's why it's important to check our working directory or set our working directory so to check for our working directory the command i'm going to use is pwd and it says that my working directory is users slash dl slash documents but actually i don't want my working directory to be in this location okay so then what i can do i can just put cd and then I can put the location where I want my working directory. So I'm just now going to copy my working directory. So actually this is where I want my working directory. So I'm just going to copy this and paste it in my Stata. So after CD, I'm going to paste this one here. And I should make it within quotation actually. Okay. So after that, now if I check my working directory with the command pwd, you see, this is my working directory. So all the things that I'll be doing, all the things I'll be extracting will be saved there in this location, okay? And also this is also useful because now I can actually use any file from that location without giving any uh, detailed location of my document, of my, of my data file, okay? For example, just to show you, now, if I go to my working directory, so here is my working directory. Here I have two data, one HS0. So actually it's the same data, but one in CSV format and one in, one in Stata data format uh, with the D, .dta extension, right? So to extract actually this Stata format data set, I will only be using use and then HS0. So here, use hs0. You'll see my data will be loaded here in the variable window. You will see that the data will come up. You see the data is here now. Okay. And so that's the good part uh, when we have our working directory set up because then we can just use the data file. We can import data file directly from there and we can save all the outputs can be saved there in our working directory, right? Great. Now, if we want to extract our CSV format data, then we have to do the command in a slightly different way. We have to use in sheet, okay, using, sorry, in sheet using hs0, zero, zero dot csv comma clear so here what we are saying that okay load our csv file data and then clear what we have in our memory already okay so then we will have this data in uh, we'll have it imported in a csv format okay as you can see here but we lost some information here the labels are gone when we are using the stata format we had our labels there in the data right as you can see I have to first clear it. Use HS0 clear. As you can see here, we have the labels of our different variables. Okay. But in the CSV format data, when we import that, then we don't have our labels saved there. So you will see we will be importing our CSV format data, then we will add labels and variables. And then it is a good idea to actually save the updated data file in the Stata format so that next time when we'll be working, we will see all the value levels and data levels. 
So here now we see that how we can uh, import data using the use command for the stata format data and inject command for the csv format data we can actually also import data directly from a web location there are many websites actually where they provide some data files and if the data file is in a stata format you can actually import that directly and use it for example here uh, on research hub actually we have some data files here uh, under the blog we have this data and code and in this page we provide some data and codes r script stata scripts right so here for the stata playlist here you see we have uploaded this file in csv format and in stata format and here we have some id for each of the data files and we'll be actually using this id uh, to extract this data from this web location to directly on our stata file so first what i'm going to do actually i'm going to clear my memory so you see my variables are gone all the values are gone so now then what we are going to do we are going to set the location okay so to set the location we will be using this command use and then https researchhub.org and then download and then we use the code here so if you are planning to extract any data from our website you should use this part here okay research app.org slash download then slash the id of the data file as we can see here the id of the data file here is 3403 so for most of the data that could be used like this we will provide we'll actually you see not all of them have the ids but we'll update them actually gradually okay so but for this one we can actually have the uh, we as we already have the id we can extract it right and we actually don't need the clear now because it's already clear but if you want to replace some other data if you want to clean your memory then it is good to have this clear command after the location so using this you can see that we actually can extract our data here as you can see right great so these are some of the options i was showing you using the commands but actually we can also import data from here directly we can go here and import our data from excel version uh, csv version pss version sas version okay and many other formats and if it was directly in a stata format we could just open it from here okay so let me show you two of them so if i clear my memory and then if i go back and i open so here i am on the location and here you see i have the stata format file so i'm just double click it and i have loaded it okay similarly i can do similarly i can also import it from a csv format file or xls format file so i also have a csv copy saved in my working directory and i'm going to import that one uh, i will browse and here i am here i am and i can just double click and upload it and if i click ok then the window will go and it will be uploaded but if i click submit then i still have the window and it will be uploaded but i'm just going to click ok so it is there as you can see but with the csv format as i mentioned earlier we lose the data properties variable properties okay so this is how actually we can import data in a stata in few different ways we have seen how to import using uh, the use command from the working directory we, we have also seen how to import it in excel format using the in sheet command okay and we have also seen how to import it from a any website link okay if they have provided the data there but you have to have exactly the url from where you can extract the data okay and we also have seen how to open a data from the file and how to import it from here so now we know how to load data in our stata window okay and then after loading the data if you do some manip manip manipulation in the data you can save it from here you can just save it you can export it into different formats or you can just save as uh, in a stata format okay in the next video we are going to see how to start a log file and we will see how to do a little bit of 
exploration of our data set.